tracks today. Yeah. Yeah. I need them bands, running up fast, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Leaving the house with the glizzy, nigga. Let's get a sports talk. Cleveland Browns are going to fall. Mm. And you know why they're going to fall? Because of people like you. Okay? And all of these folks out there bloviating about a Cleveland Browns squad. Ain't been to a damn playoff since 2002. We're fresh off a of 0 16 season coming into last year. All right, here's what happened. Baker Mayfield can ball. Let me be very, very clear. Baker Mayfield can ball. I love his pedigree. I love his resume. I love what he went through to get to where he is. He deserves mad props and respect. And he's not only just a damn good quarterback, he's a leader. I'm just saying it's going to take a lot to lead this crew. Because let me tell you something right now. You got Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham Jr. Think about them being boys all you want to. Both of them could ball. Both of them are going to be hungry for the football. It's going to be interesting to see how you handle that. And Joku. He's already handling it. It seems like he is. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Am I missing something? Did the season start? I'm, it's my bad. I'm sorry. I'm a... They're not going to fall. You are so used to seeing the Browns not having a good team. Everybody is just so used to them just losing. Now they put a good team together. Everybody feels the type of way they want them to continue losing so they can talk about them and treat them like laughing stocks. Landry is not a selfish person. He's going to get the football too, just like Odell. They tight end going to get the football as well. And like, start trying to make them seem like they gonna bump heads. Like you said, the season ain't start, but Landry is not gonna go out to his boy if he get the football a lot. He's gonna get the, the football through his way. Still, they so used to seeing them be the laugh and stop. Now that they got a team around Baker, and it might pan out good. You gotta wait and see. I'm, I might be clueless. The, the NFL season starts with 2019. Yeah, I don't care about that. Tell me, tell me about it. Season's over for you. The NFL season that started here. There's no games that's been played. I wanna hear that? This doesn't mean anything to me. I don't give a damn what he's doing. A lot of people look good in August. A whole lot of people look good in July and August. What are you gonna do? Once September roll around in that season, let me tell you something right now. The Browns, all of this talking that y'all have done, you even had them as a Super Bowl contender. That's right. Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. Right. Had I'm sorry. Have, 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 have. Let me tell you something right now. You're going to pay for that. You're going to pay for that dearly. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. Y'all talking so much smack about the clip. Let me look at their schedule right here. Tennessee, the Jets. All right, the Rams, Baltimore, San Francisco. I mean, Jimmy. Yes, uh, they have to keep playing teams for the NFL. Star, they were NFL. Porn star Jimmy, week five. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that porn star Jimmy. You'll, you, you'll know that story. I'll educate you about that. Seattle, New England, Denver. Huh, Pittsburgh, but twice. Oh, now, come, let me tell you something. Y'all are talking a lot of smack about the Cleveland Browns. Puppies at this. Forget they about that Forget about that. Let's see. You say July and August don't matter. September and October. Right. I'm saying forget about September and October. Let's talk about November and December because mm -hmm. there's some more research I have for you sure. here, Stephen please, A. Please, please, um, please. Under Hugh Evan Jackson. working for you. you got, we working Evan overtime. Under, you. <laughs> under <laughs> Hugh Jackson. Because sure. from week nine on, it's basically the season's in two halves, right? TD. They have a quarterback now. To help their team win games. They ain't had a good established quarterback since Tim Couch. And you know how long that been? When you so used to seeing them not having a good team and you so used to them coming into the season like you know they're going to lose. When you come to this season, I got a feeling they're going to win some games. I think they're going to make it this year. With the quarterback, the way he's ambition and want to win, that's good energy around that team. Now we just got to see how the defense going to do, though. I feel like they got a good defense. Interception ratio, 8 to 6. Under Kitchens, who's now his coach, 19 to 8. Total QBR. 
Under New Jackson, 36 PU. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Under Kitchens, 70. Mm -hmm. Yards per attempt, he was second in the NFL second half of the season, meaning when he got a coach, before he got Odell and Kareem Hunt, mm -hmm. to Patrick Mahomes. Over that period, fourth in touchdowns. But, but here's the point. He was elite but, 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 in the but, but, second but, but, half of the but, 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 season. Here's the point. We knew those numbers because you, you, you regurgitated them weeks ago. So we have that. But what I'm saying to you is this. You're acting like we're questioning the skill set of Baker Mayfield. We're not doing that. What's your question? No, 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 no. What I'm saying to you is the personality on the oh, squad. Got too much talent around. On the, far, on the squad with a second-year quarterback and a rookie coach in the AFC North where four those games are going to be against the Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens. I think they're going to have something to say about Shame that. Shame on and, and, you. And I'm telling you, I believe, I think the Steelers go win the AFC North. I think they're going to beat Where Cleveland. Are you from? What city are you from? New York City. And how old are you? 51. So do you recall the late 1970s? The New York Yankees won back-to-back -back championships. Sure, I do. And do you recall what that team was called? The Bronx Zoo. Mm -hmm. Because of all the big personalities that were combustible. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Freddie Kitchens is no Billy Martin. Oh, 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 oh. Come on now. They did it with and without Billy. The point is, sometimes you get a certain mix of players that looks like it's a tinderbox, right? It can explode. Okay. For example, the Steelers last. Right. I'm sorry, the Browns give you that feeling? Or do, you, do they give you the Bronx Zoo feeling? Like, there's some live wires on this team, but these are young Ballers who are trying but this, to but this, win. But this, but this is this is football, man. And I'm telling you, man, the Browns has something to prove. Everybody that's on that team got something to prove. They gonna be hungry to win. It's like you gonna regret your words, but you judge them right now. Like you want them to collide so they can break up a team. And um, they're gonna be a better team than they was years ago and a couple years ago because they got people who want to win. Something right now. I don't view it that way. I don't. I would. I would tell you. I don't view them as the Bronx Zoo. I would think. I would talk to that tinder box that you just alluded to, and I would say to you, they got more of a chance of doing that than resembling the Bronx Zoo. No. They became champions. Oh, well, that's, that, your that, 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 that's, that's your bet. That's what I'm obviously. saying. I'm not questioning their skill set as individuals. I'm questioning whether or not they'll be able to come together as a team and accumulate the level of success that you See, are you know saying you know what, they will have. I don't believe you know what you're that. You're missing here. I believe usually when this kind of um dream team type thing comes together in the NFL, okay. it doesn't work out really because the name brands that were accumulated on this one team mm -hmm. come from other places and in order for them to be available, they're usually past their prime. Okay. An expensive running back with a brand name, but he's not the same anymore. Why? Oh, look who they just got. Uh, a guy who had legal problems, Michael Vick goes away, co you know, goes to jail, comes back. Right. Oh, now the Eagle, but he's not quite the same. Nice player, but not quite the cool. same guy. That's not the case here. This Cleveland Browns team with a second-year quarterback who is a stud with Nick Chubb, who everyone knew was going to be good in the pros and is, and Joku I mentioned. And then you got Kareem and then you, back into the mix. But that's going to take some stuff away from he, Chubb. You can he's look in it, his look, prime. You, I'm saying, Odell's you can, in his you prime. Can look at it, you can look at it any way you want to. I'm saying to you, the very things that you look at as pluses, I think are potential minuses. And none of it has to do with their talent in terms of individuals. It's whether or not you can come together as a team and make the requisite sacrifices. That is what I am questioning about the Cleveland Browns, and that is why I believe so they will be decent. So what kind of they, quarterback do you need? The kind of quarterback who will hold the big personality. I like that. Receivers yeah, I'm not are not out of the wait, You saying that. You, 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 you saying that because Odell on that team. And you feel like their personality is going to collide. They actually form well together. Like, I don't think because he on that team that he going to cause them not to want to play with each other. He's comfortable because he got a person he grew up with back home on the same team. 
is different from when he was in New York. He in a new environment. He's might change. I'm not complaining about what we saw from Baker Mayfield. I have no problem with what he did. And that makes you more or less confident. No, that had nothing to do. We, wanted to, we, we brought that, we put up that footage, but we don't care about that. Neither of us have a problem with Baker Mayfield. No, I feel good about it. I, so I do why, care so about why. it. But what I'm saying to you is that that's not why I'm alluded to a Cleveland. I've been saying the same thing about Cleveland. I'm so sick and tired of everybody running their mouth like, oh my God, they have a rod. Play a damn game. Well, you know Let's what? see we what you do. Let's see what you do with somebody. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube for more sports highlights.